it's Simplicity, and welcome back to part 10 of the 100 Baby Challenge. So, right now, we are currently woohooing with Lim- uh, I was gonna say Lamundo, but it's Reginald. Um, I finally got them to- Okay. So, we are back, and it is now the next morning. Um, I did actually cheat to have her go into labor, just because I feel like it's better to kind of speed things up a little bit. So, I'm probably gonna do that from now on. Um, cause, like- the traits don't really matter. It's more so like raising them and stuff like that. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and send her off to the hospital to have a baby. Uh, yeah, it's probably only one because she doesn't have the fertility treatment. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and send her off to the hospital, and I'm gonna skip until we have the baby, and we will be right back. All right, so we had a baby boy who is an athletic and a genius, and the next name on my list here, let me see, is. If it will let me load. It's Simone. Um, which is actually what was under the boys' names. I don't know if that's the proper pronunciation, but I'm going to go with Simone. But alright, so we're going to skip until we are home. Okay, so we are home, and it is now 12.16 on Monday. And we're going to go ahead and just age our little dude up. I figured, why not? Um, I know that I'm kind of skipping through some stuff here, but... It is better to just kind of trigger the age transition and get him started on his skills, and then we can get going. Um, but yeah, so we'll just go ahead and trigger his age transition. And then hopefully I'm able to get Anne pregnant again. We'll have to wait and see. But that is kind of my hope. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And the other dog is actually kind of upset right now. I'm not sure why. I'll have to take a look at that in a second. No, oh, because she's hungry, I see. But she's already eating, so it's okay. And I also have Anne just kind of taking care of herself as well. Okay, so he is now a toddler. Perfect. Um, I am kind of losing my voice a little bit. I don't know if I'm fighting off a cold or what's really going on. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. But, okay, so she's cleaning up her dish, which is perfect. I'm going to have her go upstairs, which again, I have to click on use stairs, which is a bit of an inconvenience. And then I do have to fill out the dog food bowl, which I will. Uh, but we're actually going to come over here, and I think we're going to go ahead and potty train him, or, like, get it started. Because that one, I feel like, takes the longest. I don't know why. Probably because, like, she actually has to do it, and the other two I can do, like, just with the children. That's probably why. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let her get started on potty training him. Um, that's really about it. And then we'll see if we can maybe get her pregnant again or something along those lines. I don't know. I haven't really planned this all out of what I want to do this part yet. Um, I just, I don't know. We'll just kind of have to wait and see. But sorry, I should probably move over here. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and keep on potty training him because everybody's in a pretty good mood. So we should be able to get this done. And then I can go ahead and just, like, put him into the playpen so he can get started on learning how to talk while we try and find another baby daddy and go from there. Look at our little Lily outside. She's so tiny. Hopefully you guys are okay with the name Lily. I just kind of, it was in what she was, like, originated with. Um, and I did actually get her friendship up with the vampire. So I'm kind of hoping we can maybe do, like, a vampire baby at some point. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let her put him into the playpen because we got him half done. So it's a start. And I'm going to go ahead and ignore Reginald's phone call just because I really don't care. But yeah, so we're halfway done for potty training. So I'm just going to go ahead and empty this out because I don't want it to, like, overflow. So we will go ahead and empty it. I'm at work right now and don't know when I'll be done. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right. So I'm just going to cue him up for learning how to talk, and we'll have to just kind of wait and see from there. But get him started on his skills. There we go. Okay. So he's all queued up and ready to go. I've got like a weird like frog in my throat. Um, <clears throat> hopefully that makes it a little bit better. I really don't know what's going on. But okay, so she's just going to go ahead and empty out the potty chair, which is going to glitch because she can't actually get down the stairs. Ta-da. What a surprise. Um, I really want her to get pregnant with a vampire. But maybe 
I'll go ahead and just kind of invite over these other random dudes. Uh, we've got Captain Hook in here because we found him through the online dating profile. So, who knows? Maybe we'll have Captain Hook's baby. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and invite over some dudes. And see what we can get. Uh, he's not interested, okay. Um, Captain is going to come over in a little while, so I guess Captain Hook is our next little person to go after. So I'm going to let her go ahead and go downstairs, just so whenever he gets here, it's not like we're really glitching out where she goes to, like, answer the door. Um, okay. And this little dog over here needs some social attention, so I'm going to come over here and talk to her. I really wish I wasn't losing my voice right now, and, um, I don't know. We'll praise her for being non-destructive, and I guess Captain Hook's here. Yes, he is. Okay. Well, I still want to praise her for being non-destructive, because that's a good thing, and he just literally just walked into my house. Uh, hello to you two. But okay, so she's going to go ahead and talk to him. I think it's kind of weird that he just, like, walked in. But, uh, you know, what can you do? I really w Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just queue up some funny interactions and see what we can do. Because I do want to see if I can potentially get her pregnant again in this part. Uh, that would be ideal. So we're just going to go ahead and just queue up the funny interactions for Captain Hook. And hopefully that'll get the friendship going. And then I'll make a silly face. There we go. Okay. So she just wants to know his sign. Uh, she's happy because of meeting somebody from online dating. And she's always to go on a real date sometime. But, like, he's still hanging out with you. So we're just going to keep on going. Um, I do have to actually fill up the dog food bowl. I haven't gotten that far, but I will, because I don't want a little puppy to be, uh, like, starving or anything like that, but I do just really want to see if I can get, like, the friendship up a little bit, but, yeah, you guys would have seen Captain Hook if you guys watched my first Leaving My Sims Alone video. Uh, that one didn't go as well as my second one did, which is why I'm kind of happy that I did a second one, but... Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and start on the friendly interactions, just kind of getting to know about Captain Hook in general here. Um, that's really about it. It's kind of like a very repetitive process, so I feel like you guys are probably getting tired of seeing this, but like I'm wanting to just kind of achieve the challenge. I am taking a break from my not so belly challenge, which I honestly think is needed. It's not performing the best on my channel. Um, again, I am a smaller channel, but it's barely getting any views, so it's time to kind of, like, take a step back from that one and focus on something else for a little bit. Um, we'll see if I decide to come back to that at some point. I do still have the save file, so there is potential that I could come back to that. But we'll have to just kind of wait and see. But for right now, I'm just going to do my 100 baby, my uh, build with me, and then whatever videos I feel like putting up on Friday. Fridays are kind of my more, like, random video sort of things of whatever I feel like doing. That's not a series. Okay. So she wants to chat with Simone because I'm guessing he learned how to talk. Um, I did actually just get them up to being friends because of the Deep Conversations mod, which is awesome. Um, I didn't actually realize anything, but we're going to go ahead and ask him if he's single, which I don't think he is, but we can check it out and see. Um, yeah, so he is in a relationship with Addison. He's either engaged or married, but we did just get up to being good friends, so maybe we'll be able to make something work here. But yeah, the deep conversation mod actually really helps. So she thinks Captain Hook is 10 out of 10 as well. So, that's two guys that she's finding 10 out of 10. Uh, she's wanting to do something with Lily, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this really quick. I'm going to see if we can actually go ahead and flirt with Captain Hook here. 
Um, our puppy's doing all right. She's got a pee. But. Okay, so it looks like it's just Anne and Captain on a date. Can you imagine someone actually being, like, named Captain and it not being, like, a nickname? Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and just kind of see what we can do. Um, I'm just going to kind of queue up some stuff here a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit more floaty. I'm not going to, like, automatically jump and be like, try for the baby. That kind of thing. Like, no. Um, okay. What's a foot long and slippery? A slipper. She just has the most creative jokes. Just, wow. So creative. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead with still being flirty. So I'm going to go ahead and compliment his personality, although I don't actually know if we know any of his personality traits, but we can try. And then we'll just go ahead and do a bit of a flirtatious joke here. Okay. So we're up to being very alluring, which is good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a first kiss. What do you call a fish with no eyes? F-S-H. Okay, so she kissed him. There we go. Do you know what goes together? Me and you. I mean, okay, dude. Uh, Anne has a naughty reputation. Surprise, surprise. But alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can get them to try for the baby. It is going to glitch out because that's just that's what it does because they can't actually get up the stairs properly. So you guys are going to see the lovely woohoo glitch here that I've got. Um, it's an interesting one. <laughs> it's kind of actually really funny. I know, I know, you have to go to the bathroom, but not really now. Okay. So they're going to go ahead and woohoo, but like watch this. Watch how lovely this works out. So they get to the bottom of the stairs. And then they change. And now she's pretending to make the bed. And then now she just poofs. Now she's on the floating invisible bed. Like, look at I think it's so funny. Like, if I go upstairs, they are actually on the bed, but, like, you can see them from downstairs, too, and I just, I think it's really funny. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and woohoo. I'm going to go ahead and listen here really quick. And... She's pregnant, you guys, which is super exciting. Uh, so we are on to another baby. He's getting sleepy, so he's going to go ahead and head on home. Uh, she's really got to go to the bathroom, or she's going to end up, like, peeing herself, which is great. Uh, but apparently she thinks it's a good idea to go to sleep, which it's not. You've got to really go to the bathroom, so, like, go. Uh, she's going to get up and she's going to teleport back downstairs. Because, see, there we go. So she's going to go ahead and just go to the bathroom. Because, I mean, she's really got to go. There we go, Okay. And I know we're not being a very good mom because Simone is still hanging out in the playpen, I think. But we will take care of him, I promise. Um, I actually need to go ahead and fill up the dog food bowl over here. So I'm going to go ahead and let her go ahead and do that. So she can go and do that and then you can get to it. Don't start. Go here. Go fill the bowl. Is it because the dog's in the way? Can you go over here? This is, I think, honestly, I think the dog's in the way. Or, like, our chair is too big for the table or something. So I'm going to get up and move a little Lily. I'm going to let Lily come outside. And she's got a chew toy over here, so I'll let her go and chew on that for right now. And then, yeah, 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 you're having loading issues. I got that. Because of the dog. So we're going to go ahead and let her come over here and fill up the bowl again. Because Lily is now on the move. So she should be able to get there. She's being really ridiculous. See? The dog was in the way. So I'm going to let her come over here and fill up the food bowl. Okay. And then... She's also got to go ahead and eat, but we also need to take care of the baby, which we will do. 
Uh, I am just going to let her come and eat some salad here really quick. And then we'll go upstairs and we'll take care of the baby and all of that will be just fine. Uh, go on a date with Captain? Probably not. But yeah, I figured while we're down here, we may as well go ahead and take care of her needs. And then we'll go upstairs and take care of the baby and it'll all be just fine. Uh, I am going to get her to actually go ahead and clean up this dish though. Okay, cool. And then we'll go ahead and use the stairs and go upstairs and take care of the little baby. Um, it, I was going to say, it looks like he's sleeping, but he's not. So I'm going to let her just come and use the stairs. Okay. Now she wants to go on a date with Reginald, so apparently she's very confused on what she wants. Which I think, actually, I think Captain Hook's still here. I think he's asleep in her bed. Uh, which is kind of weird. But, it's fine. Um, can you come and pick up your child here, please? I am having a, oh, okay. My game was cleaning itself up. That's fine. Okay, so she should be going to pick up her child. And then we'll go ahead and just kind of take care of his needs. Um, he does actually have to go potty, so I'm going to bring him over here and do that quick. When she picks him up, and then we'll feed him, and then she can jump in the shower at the same time. And then they can both go ahead and head off to bed, so. Okay, we'll go ahead and potty train him here quickly. And there we go. So I do kind of have this planned out just a little bit of how I want to end the night. But see, Captain Hook is still asleep in her bed, so we're going to go ahead and feed him on the floor. And then she can go ahead and jump in the shower. Because then we're taking care of baby's needs and her needs at the same time. And then we can go ahead and put him to bed and then put her to bed. And it'll just be perfect. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and change his diaper actually because I do want to do that. And then we'll go ahead and put him to bed and it'll just be fine. He is tired, which is good because she's tired too, but then again, it is 4.30 in the morning, so that's probably why. But okay, so they're going to go ahead and just kind of head off to bed. There we go. And you can go ahead and put him in the crib, and then go ahead and get some sleep yourself, my dear. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. And if you're already subscribed and want notifications when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys.